Hello, my name is Audrey Sobel. I'm a children's author and illustrator. And today I'm going to be reading you one of my picture books. This particular book is about rocks. Why rocks? Because there's a lot of fascinating things we can learn about rocks. Take this rock. It looks gray, maybe even a little bit boring. But if we take a closer look at it, we can start to notice some other details about it, details on it. For example, you might now notice some white specks on the rock. These specks are larger crystals that formed in the rock when those parts of the rock cooled more slowly than the rest of the rock. Want to find out some more about rocks? Well, let's get started. Can a Rock Grow? Written and illustrated by Audrey Sobel. This book is dedicated to rock hounds everywhere and to all the family and friends who helped me with this book. Have you ever watched a rock grow? Most people haven't. We usually see rocks breaking apart and changing, not growing. How do rocks change? Well, can gravity change rocks? Yes, sometimes gravity pulls down huge cliffs. As the stones fall, they shatter and break. Can trees change rocks? Tiny tree roots sometimes creep into cracks in a rock. As the ro roots grow, they can split the rock apart. Even water can change rocks when it drips into gaps in the rock during icy weather. As the water freezes, it can split the rock into pieces. Rocks change in other ways too. Some rocks grow into tall pillars. Basalt columns often break into hexagon shapes. Other rocks grow in flat layers. Shale breaks into smooth, even layers. Mica breaks into paper-thin layers that light can shine through. Some rocks grow from a mixture of sand, gravel, and other debris. These conglomerate rocks break into ragged, lumpy masses. Other rocks grow into brittle, glassy chunks. Obsidian and flint form sharp edges as they break. What about rocks with holes? Some rocks grow holes from gas bubbles trapped inside the rock as it forms. Pumice has so many holes that it is light enough to float. Other rocks grow holes as they break. Sometimes clams dig holes in soft rocks to use as homes. Sometimes water wears holes in rocks when it drips on a rock for many years. Some rocks even grow into round shapes. Thunder eggs are round rocks that hide agates or other crystals inside. Other rocks roll through sand and waves until they become as round and smooth as an egg. Rocks can grow into other shapes too. Some rocks grow crystals shaped like cubes or bubbles or even roses. Other rocks grew as trees before they changed into fossils. All these rocks, crystals, and fossils grew ages ago. Are any new rocks still growing? Yes, many new rocks are growing deep underground where heat and pressure mold them into new shapes. But are any rocks growing where we can find them? Some rocks inside caves are growing. In these caves, water from the ceiling drips slowly down the rocks. Each drop of water carries tiny grains of limestone to the rocks. These rocks grow so slowly that we can't see the change. But lava from volcanoes creates new rocks almost every day. If you watch a lava flow from a volcano, then you will see new rocks begin to grow. Thank you for reading along with me. If you want to continue exploring rocks, you can visit my website, aesobble.com, to find printable activity pages for Can a Rock Grow, as well as for my other books. Enjoy!